Hello everyone, welcome back to Stone Harf Me Bantles. We're back again. Late episode, we were playing around with our beautiful waterfall up here. So we're maybe gonna do a little bit more of that today. We got some recommendation, maybe do like, like a lake up here. Maybe we're gonna have some fishing, some trees around it. And uh, that could look really cool, right? So I think that's an awesome, great idea. And always keep your ideas flowing to me, guys. If you have suggestions for things you think I should do, let me know and we will see what we turn that into. But for now, I noticed that we need to harvest quite a bit of trees. We're lacking a little bit of wood. Also saw our town square. Something strange going on here. We need one more wood. And it says something with clay bricks. But this building should already be built. So I'm not entirely sure what is really happening with this one. So I'm going to go shop down a few more here. Probably going to send our army over here to defeat the wolves. Might need to do an... Yeah, we're probably going to need to do a ladder there to get over. So I guess we can wait with the troop for now. So the idea would be to like make a, like a big lake here. And I'm going to guess we will like fill it up first. And at the later point, we will actually go and... Um, make so it uh, drops out of water. I think that could be a good way. And not sure, maybe we'll make it a little bit thinner because we want to make sure that we don't like, you know, drop out all the water and stuff like that. So we might want to make this a little bit deeper. So let's go ahead and do like uh, four in depth would be pretty good. Data update. Awesome. Another one joins. So the person that's going to be named today is going to be Karen. The next one is going to be Cloud. And then we have three random selected names, which you guys can always Give name requests, so feel free to do so in the comments. Marana May has joined. So this is gonna be you, Karen. So you got three mind, two body, one spirit. So welcome to the town. Hope you can have an amazing time here, dude. So I will, of course, not be able to fulfill all of your different requests for jobs and genders and stuff like that. You are gonna get what you're gonna get, pretty much, because Banto is not gonna turn down on our poor little halflings. Okay, so we're gonna widen this up and... We could try to do a pretty cool shape for this. I don't want it to look all the same everywhere, so I want to do a little bit of shape to this and make it look a little bit natural. Because a lake normally do not, you know, look identical at all the sides. Let's go ahead and we're gonna carry down a few things. And maybe we can have this cactus as we can actually do. Let's put some along the river here. I will be putting some trees there later at least. Okay, here we got the wolves. Let's go send our troops over there. Make sure we click this one. A trapper is chopping wood. I thought he should be going around trapping or maybe go take over these wolves. It would be really cool if you can actually have them as your pets and charge into combat with them. Up here I also want to put some saplings. Let's see if we have some left here we do. So we can drop some trees here. We will see how that will look. I hope it's gonna look pretty cool. It would probably be pretty nice to have like one here and one here. So I might remove that one in the corner. We will see. Let's wanna make sure we don't get too many also. So that could probably look cool. But this one, I guess we can cancel that. And then we can drop one maybe behind here instead. Oh, these are the ones from the farm, by the way. Let's grow one there. We can do some nice decoration around the river. Give some more cactuses. And we've got to make sure to actually do like a ladder. So I'm not going to do it here because it's going to be easier to remember. It's a little bit more visible than if we do it in the water. And we also need a way to get up from here so we don't get stuck. So just for now, I'm going to do one ladder there. And this should be good work for our minor two. And we hear the Goblin War Horns. At last we come to place of great Chinese. Go forth, minions. Go forth, August Kalbanka's glory. Frogo for Chinese. Take all things. Okay, so they're coming for us. And I hope we're ready to face them. Like, I think we will be. We have one night to get three footmen. We don't have an archer yet. I'm actually going to wait with archer. Because the footmen, I think yeah, they are better against ogre than the archers. And where did he arrive from? It feels like they should come either from here or from here. It 
could also come this way or on top of the hills as well. I can't really seem to find them. I've been looking around pretty much everywhere and that's a little bit scary because then they're just gonna appear somewhere when we're not prepared and uh, that's not gonna be very good. It's not gonna be good. I wonder if I should perhaps go and um, promote another one to be a soldier, a footman, just for this battle. I think I'd rather want to be a blacksmith. I talked about that before, that maybe he will become another blacksmith. And then uh, Keely will be promoted to be a glass worker. So we're going to have two blacksmiths for now. That's going to be more possibility for doing more work at the same time. I'm probably going to keep them both for doing that for now. Going to make some new of these workstations. There we go. Where are you, Ogo? The mountain where you're hiding, dude. I don't like when it take like a little bit of delay to arrive. We will see. We will see. Maybe they arrive soon. Sock black hammer selling some goods for us. I'm not sure if we need anything. I'm gonna buy one sword. We maybe need that. I don't think so though. We have a couple of clay tunnel doors. And I wanted to go up here, by the way. Because I saw some tumbleweed here, so I want to get that, collect that. This thing, some bones, can we harvest that? Okay, we can't harvest the bones. Okay, since they are not gonna arrive yet, I guess I can keep doing a river a bit. They definitely gonna arrive now that I'm not guarding, protecting myself. That's when they're gonna arrive. That's how it always is. So let's uh, stay a little bit careful. I think this is a pretty interesting size and maybe, maybe wanna make a little island on this as well. Would be pretty cool. That's a small little one. We can add more land again if we do it like this. I think I'm just gonna redo it. It um, became a little bit weird. If I can select what's gonna get under here. Okay, so now it looks like we got what we wanna have. So let's uh, do it like this instead. It looks like there's something to be dug under there though. I think it should be okay now. Let's see if we can add back some here. A little island like I spoke about. We can have some nice stuff on that. Maybe some bridge maybe over to it. A little hut where we have a little bit of fishing going on, right? But we're gonna wait with building that house until we like got the water running around this. I think this should do pretty good. Hope you guys like it. And then we will flood it with water. But we're gonna wait until it's dug out. And it's mining pretty good here. Going pretty fast for our miner. But it still does take a while. So I wonder, he's level 6, so maybe we can help up with uh, maybe a few workers. It could be helping a little bit, maybe. Let's see here a little bit. I really want to make sure this gate gets done. It's taking forever. These aren't placed and we we'll also need to get a large banner. I wonder if I add some more ladders up here to the side. Maybe they will actually go and drop these little things at the side here. But since they're not really focused on building on that one, maybe we can actually build one of our other houses. For example, we could do the tomb now. That could kind of work. And then we make sure that, like this is our roof because then we should be able to like look that through. That should be good. And what we could do here, just for fun, we could add in some some pillars down here. 
Then we can add lights on them. Because we do want to have some light in this little crypt we got going on here. Then we should go in and we should get some nice lights and I think we do this uh, kind of candles. I love that you can search here now nowadays by the way, it's really really nice. We're actually, let's do the normal clay wa clay lamp. The one at uh, this, the side here, so let's see if we can actually go down. That will make it a little bit easier to, you know, put out. Quite a lot easier, really. There we go. That gives us some lights down there, making it look a little bit more cool. I guess we could actually take the road tool and uh, then take some clay and we can like repaint the floor a little bit. Go all over here. That. And then we could do some, let's do some coloring for the corners. Something like that. Looking pretty, pretty good. And we could change this to be a hollow one. I'm not sure. Maybe we want to be it hollow. I think I might do it hollow, actually. But not nice. We got some lights and... Um, let's see. Maybe we can do some nice extra shapes down here. So we can put into the house on sarcophaguses here, that's kind of what we wanted. The thing with these is that, is that you do need to like um, have an halfling die to like get their tombstone. So I might be like putting some of those out later on, or just drop in the world so we don't have to kill someone. Because it's, if not, it's gonna be really hard because I don't want any one of you guys to get killed, you know? I want you all to survive to get with me. So down here we could be adding some more things, maybe we could do some more lights, perhaps. I was thinking we can even have some braziers. Someone said like put some possessions next to them to like uh, show like this was uh, that kind of person. Maybe this was a weaver or a little kid or something. Having some plushy toy rabbits and maybe someone who had some swords. There should be some swords that we can like put out. Like a trophy. That could be like sitting here. Like this was maybe one of the... Uh, Soldiers protecting us. Maybe this was two like uh, champions of Walmoro that was put here, and uh, that's pretty cool. Maybe this was some rich person, so we drop some some vases, and I would like to have something more. Kind of show it. Maybe a decorative vase. Can have like uh, sitting here at the sides, maybe. Each person looks a little bit special here. That's kind of cool. And maybe we want to... Let's extend this under this. Like so. That's pretty cool. We got four different kind of like graves. So we got some bunnies, got swords from the champions, and some rich uh, important person that was important for this town to maybe supply with money for some different products to move forward and expand the town. Rufus Garrow, hello dude. Oh, have they, have they updated how the stone brazier looks? That looks totally different. There's a lot of things here. I'm not sure if they're like part of a mod, like glassworks that got updated recently, or if they're like the original one. Let's try to buy one of those. And like, let's try to drop it out. I kind of want to see how that one looks. I think that might look pretty cool. I'm not sure if we'd put any in here. Oh, we only have, oh, see, the lamps have changed. So they have actually changed the lamps? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's uh, just drop one like here next to the entrance for now. 
Awesome, we beat it again. So another one joins. Are in center. So we got uh, two mind, two body for spirit, and you get a, a green farm, which is good for being a farmer, for example. So this is gonna be named, it's gonna be Cloud, so welcome to the town. So now it's those three names that we random select for the three next Harflings, randomly selected between those, so drop names in the comments if you want the name in the game. Okay, so let's see how they're doing here. They're doing pretty good, just quite a lot to dig here, but we will need all this clay later on, so... I just think that's really good that we're actually getting to do a little bit of digging now. And the uh, flood is with water later, that's gonna be really really cool. Uh, by the way, the next week, this week that you're probably watching this episode, I will be away this week, but I'm gonna try to make sure you guys are getting two to three episodes this week, so this one including two more episodes, so I don't disappear fully. So pre-recorded stuff and hope you guys can enjoy it. So I will be going away on a little bit of vacation for the entire week is going to go to a little fishing, visit some uh, fancy world by the Swedish author Astrid Lindgren that made the uh, Pippi, if you can know that strong girl and stuff like that. And it's gonna be really fun and going to a cave as well to explore that. I've been inside it one time before, but it was really cool, so we're going back there again. So it's gonna be really exciting. Hope you all is gonna have a great, great week that week. And something we have to do soon would be actually to make some living houses here but a farm we won't have a storage house and this one is not done what are we missing uh, crates wooden barrel candle holder and large urn so we gotta fix that try to do that but we will also do some housing here and like i said probably fishing cabin on top of this lake hope you guys think that's a good nice idea but let's see if we can fix the stuff we needed here with the comp and we're a little bit low on the wood seal probably might be fully out. Oh, we got four, four the wood. That's pretty good. And here, by the way, you ha actually see uh, the very first like part of my mod that I've been working on. So I have this one, this tall card window, and we also do have a tall Nordling window, which I'm probably gonna change the name uh, for that one because uh, there's another mod named Nordling, so I'm gonna change the name for it. Actually got invaders. Is this actually Ogo? No? I bet it's gonna come now that we're fighting these guys. It's always how it goes. Okay, we got the wolves, but where is that ones? Oh, the ogre's actually smashing our door. Screw you, dude. What do you think you're doing, man? Oh, I don't like him breaking my doors. And he broke it, damn you. I have to do a new one. Ogre is down, I was one more wolf. He's level 5 knight, congrats dude. Okay, so let's see if we can do the, those cross we needed. It would be cool if I could select a house and like click. Do the things that we're missing. That would be awesome, right? So we're gonna do barrel. I'm gonna put to make like four of those to be sure. Extra small containers. There's something going on. I see that the wooden candle holder. I don't have that in my crafting. So I have to look at that if some mod got disabled or something has changed with that. I can't see this one anymore for some reason. I hope that gets fixed it soon because we're using them and we're supposed to have some on these. I had to look if I have accidentally disable one of them but guys this will be it for today with stone hearth hopefully in the next episode i will be filling up this uh, lake over here so it's gonna be a lot of digging and i might let my harfling do that before the next video so we can progress a little bit faster so guys thanks for watching today's episode if you did enjoy feel free to leave a like on the video drop name requests for harflings if you want to get a harfling in the game i randomly select to make it fair as possible so thanks for watching today's episode, hope you all are gonna have a great, great week, and I will be back with more episodes this week, but I will be gone on vacation. So hopefully that makes sense, so have a great time, and see you soon again!